they I'm aware that subsequently there have been further amendments. But where it's gone as far as taking it to cabinet or whatever, I have no idea. And, and that's unfortunate because we've been talking about that bill for long enough. I'm not sure when it's taken. So C2W is a public company that traded on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. It was established earlier this year in February, March. And um, we raised the funds that was required in order for us to go to market to implement our, our business model, which simply is um, we are a music publishing company. So what do we do? We marry and parallel international songwriters with local writers. And in that way, we create copyrights, in some cases, for established labels. In, um, in, in the case of the Barbados camp, we had the actual artist here, which is Jeremiah, who's a multi-platinum recording artist on Island Def Jam. And a matter of fact, currently, he has a song out, Whip Fabulous, um, that was written and recorded right here in, at the Barbados camp. It's called Our uh, Shit. Um, and it's currently out, it's currently released, and it, and it, came, from, it came from this camp. It's called what? Ah, uh, shit. A, A, H, S, H, dot, dot, dot. You know, um, and... I'm on the internet, it'll go, it'll go on for... Yeah, and, and, well, that's the name of the song, so <laughs> you can't change the name. So our job at C2W is to develop songwriters the way a record label will develop an artist to create copyright, intellectual property, and content for these songwriters, to market those songs globally via any stream, whether it's a recording artist, whether it's um, TV, film, advertising, video games, etc., to collect those earnings globally in foreign exchange and to bring them back to the Caribbean so that the, the, the company C2W and its songwriters will earn money seven days a week, 24 hours a day, in foreign exchange, whether there's a natural disaster, political unrest, we're earning money. I think the only other industry that does something like that is banks with interest, <laughs> right? Uh, so it's a beautiful model, this model called intellectual property. Our shareholders knew right off the bat that the only risk in this business is, is having a hit. But once we have a hit, the rest is history. So that's the risk, and we felt that the important part to try to mitigate our risk is to align our Caribbean songwriters and to align C2W with international folks, of which I knew very well from my experience in the last 30-something years in the industry. So we created content by having these songwriting camps, and the model for these songwriting camps is we choose a record label. We've had Max Goose, Senior Vice President of Island Def Jam. We've had Maria Egan, um, the Senior Vice President of Columbia Records. We've had Sean Holliday, the Senior Vice President of RCA Records, and many others. We'll choose a record label and an executive. We find out what records that, that they're work, currently working on, whether it's a Rihanna record, or Justin Bieber record, or Gen Jennifer Hudson record. And they get to choose their five or six songwriters, Honorable Ralph Gonzalez, and, and we're working very closely with him in St. Vincent and the Grenadines of doing all sorts of stuff, educational facilities, creative campuses for TV and film, audiovisual suites, not just songwriting but um, script writing, where we intend to bring script writers from LA and mix match them with script writers from the Caribbean and let the movie be be paid for and shot in LA, etc. And he has been very aggressive of that. We welcome all the other prime ministers and ministers of culture and ministers of 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 of, of what other you know tourism, etc. And we, and we we welcome those conversations and we hope to have you know quite a lot more of those conversations, especially in Barbados, because let me be clear, you know, it is not a secret that Barbados, you know, is killing the world with pop music right now. You know, between Cover Drive, Rihanna, Chantel. And let me also be clear, there is a whole bunch of artists out there that have the exact same level of skill and talent of these artists that's already signed. 
Um, so per capita, you have this concentrated amount of talent in Barbados. And I would hope that your policymakers and your governments, etc., is using the cultural funding wisely because it's very easy to not use it. We've so already well. exploited some, by the way. We've already have probably 10 to 15 songs that is slated for release by Jennifer Hudson, by uh, Mindless Behavior, um, Amber Riley from Glee has cut four of mm -hmm. our songs, Rachel Crow from X Factor has cut two of our songs, and there's a whole bunch of new TV and films, TV shows and films that's coming out early in the new year that have that. So the next quarter of 2013 is really focused on exploitations, which will then focus on revenue. We've had about 15 meetings now with all of the other major publishers and strong independents, and I'm continuing. And bad timing, Christmas, fourth quarter, right. everybody's focused, and, and then a few of the majors kind of merged in the last month, so they're, they're you know, firing staff and, and doing whatever else they need to do. But certainly, right off the top of the new year, those conversations will continue. And it is Derek and my hope, you know, and again, it would be brilliant for Cost Gap and for everybody else, but it's our hope to handle pretty much every publisher in the world that has copyrights that make any sense to the Caribbean, that is getting played on radio and stuff like that.